I felt like I was catching a cold. I started feeling my limp notes getting really, really swollen. I had limp notes on like my shoulders as well, like I was able to see them, did blood work and everything. And within two days, my primary doctor, she called me talking about my blood doesn't look right and that I need to go to Loma Linda Hospital like right away. That's when they did a bone marrow biopsy. The doctor that was seeing me, she came in and she was like, it, it came back positive, like you have cancer. I started bawling. I started crying so bad. They started treatment then and there. That's when I got my first chemotherapy. One of the chemos that they gave me was very strong and I got a lot of cold sores in my mouth that made me lose like a really significant amount of weight. I was changing and I remember putting on my sweats that I was going to wear and I almost fell. Like physically I didn't feel well, I wasn't able to like walk normally, like I struggled walking. I went in for some fluids and to, just to get treated. 30 minutes after receiving the chemo, um, I started like shivering a lot. They called the ambulance and they took me to the emergency room. They took me up to the floor. I remember getting to my room, setting my stuff down, and then after that, I don't remember anything. My brain, it like got a reaction to the chemo, so it swelled up. That week, it was my birthday week, and that's when I had turned 21. And I was like, there's no way this happened on my 21st birthday. Like, I was out, but I wasn't out the way I wanted to be out. <laughs> All the other chemos I had received, they weren't really doing much to my leukemia. Like, my leukemia was very stubborn. Ruben does have... Uh a disease called B acute lymphoplastic leukemia. Ruben received the standard treatment and he did not respond to it. His exam at the end of the standard treatment shows that there is still leukemia. He got some additional second line of treatment and again, his disease was still persistent after all of that treatment. That means it was really a matter of time before the disease will overcome uh, his wishes for cure. In January of this year, that's when they introduced the CAR T-cell therapy to me. So CAR T-cell therapy is basically a technology where you take the patient's own T-cells, then you genetically engineer them, so you are directed them to attack mostly the cancer cells. The process of receiving the treatment starts basically with collection of the T-cells from the patient. What it did, it would take out my blood. And then it would separate like the T cells and my red blood cells. It would return the red blood cells and keep the T cells. And then those cells will go to the lab. Those patient own cells undergo genetic modification to re express a receptor that will redirect them to attack mainly the cancer cells. And once the cells, they are ready, they come frozen, we do a bedside throw, and then we just infuse them, similar to any blood transfusion. I got the infusion in March 26. Within like weeks, my counts started going up and up and up. And I hadn't seen my counts go up since like I got diagnosed, like my hemoglobin, my white blood cells.
I'm starting to feel like how I felt prior getting diagnosed, like just healthier and just like being able to walk, like I'm walking a lot more like easier now, like I don't struggle with that. I don't struggle with like getting myself out of the, the car, like I could like lift myself up. I've just grown into like a better version of myself. My hope and my goal is transform his incurable disease to a fully curable disease. And I hope that this is a chapter in his life that we are able to close together and he could continue his normal life. There will be a time where we very uncommonly to use chemotherapy or we will use it only in a seldom uh, circumstances. And I strongly believe that everybody, whatever their disease is, deserve a chance. At least now we have one major tool in our arsenal to fight cancer and try to cure the disease. I feel like right now I'm just really taking it day by day and just leaving everything in God's hands. The only way out the situation is through.